Today I filed House Joint Resolution 1078. This would create a $500 million bond issue for local school districts to have the funding to build storm shelters and improve school security standards within the local schools. It allows for complete local control. It just simply provides additional funding from the state resources to allow these schools to have better opportunities to build adequate shelters. Currently school districts have to fund the shelter space completely out of their local dollars, which means an increase and property taxes for those individuals that live in that school district. This will provide a 75-25 match to allow the state to cover the bulk of the cost with those storm shelters and keep the local property taxes low. We did a survey earlier in the year and the 1,600 roughly school sites that are in the state of Oklahoma, roughly about 100 have FEMA approved shelters about one third of the schools actually are covered by tornado shelters. So there's roughly two thirds of the school sites in the state of Oklahoma that are not prepared, that are not adequately suited to deal with tornadoes or a shooter situation in the state. I think it's a priority for the state to step in on this issue and help with these funds because we have passed the laws that limit how much the schools have the ability to charge through their taxation. So if we're not providing them the opportunities to have the funds to build these shelters, it's the state's responsibility to come up with a suitable funding mechanism. This will in no way raise tax dollars. It's going to be based off an existing tax that will go back into effect in 2014. It will simply dedicate those dollars to be used for school security and storm shelters.